Greetings friends, this is Jim Orbe for Pathways of Hope. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. Isn't this a good news? Today is November 1st, and the Catholic Church, together with many Christian churches, celebrate the solemnity of this day and mark it as All Saints Day. This is in honor of all men and women who attained the promised eternal life and who now belong to God. Our Gospel reading for today is taken from Matthew 5 verses 1 to 12. This particular chapter, together with chapters 6 and 7, comprise the famously known Sermon on the Mount because our Lord Jesus Christ gives a discourse on the mountain. Do you remember somebody famous like our Lord Jesus Christ in the Old Testament who also gave a discourse to the 12 tribes of Israel on a mountain after they were freed from the bondage of the Pharaoh in Egypt? Yes, it was Moses who gave the Ten Commandments and he gave it on Mount Sinai, remember? And it was through Moses that the laws of God that teach those who belong to Israel on how to live their lives that lead to genuine freedom and true happiness. Here we find our Lord Jesus Christ in the Sermon on the Mount at the beginning of his ministry teaching the Beatitudes. Here the entire moral teaching of the gospel is contained together with the way a disciple should live his or her life. The Beatitudes are Jesus' answer to the question about happiness, an answer given in the form of a series of promises and challenges. Each beatitude shows the believer a path to the happiness of God himself. So let us begin an in-depth consideration, the Sermon on the Mount, acknowledging it as the primary source for us to discover the pathways of hope, faith, and charity. Each beatitude deserves our serious study and consideration as we allow it to penetrate ever deeper into the realities evoked in order to bring us into the presence of the Lord Himself, who only speaks through His Spirit to the listening heart. And may the Lord speak to us and speak to you as you read and meditate the Sermon on the Mount and fill your hearts with joy and gladness as you long for your eternal reward in heaven. God bless you.